fine Where all the fingers grow Under the water Where the shark bubbles blow In the morning While you really Do the walls close and the suffocate you You ain't got no friends And all the others that hate you This is the life you've been leading Gotta go call this disease bromidrosis and well they should but us regular folks and like wear a tennis shoe or an occasional python know this exquisite little inconvenience by the name of stink foot you know my python boot was too tight I couldn't get off last night a week went by July. I finally got that sucker off and my girlfriend cried. You got Stinkwood. Stinkwood, darling. Your stinking foot puts the hurt on my nose. Stinkwood, Stinkwood. I lied. And you rinse it off, you suppose. Well, here, Bido. Here, Bido. Bring us with this little puppy. Bido. Stupid dog, where are the slippers? Which literally translated means, Oh, Frank, I was so tore up, I couldn't keep them in my mouth. And verily I said unto the dog, You must be punished. Oh well, he's been sad.
beginning, God made the light. That's right. Shortly thereafter, God made three big mistakes. The first one was the poodle. The poodle, when it was originally constructed, was a very attractive dog. All the other dogs liked it because it was a regular fella. It did not have a stupid looking haircut like this. It had hair evenly distributed all over its small, piquant, charming, canine type body. Then, God made two more mistakes. Mistake number two, as we know it today, was called Mac. Mistake number three, as we know it today, was called Wool Mac. Now, let's trace the problem of contemporary civilization all the way back to the Garden of Eden. Let your mind drift back. Everything is pleasant, a lot of plants. You can talk to the plants. They're all your friends. Animals won't hurt you. The bugs are even harmless. That was the good old days. Then Wu Man looked upon the poodle. She looked at the poodle and said, this regular dog with hair evenly distributed all over his strong, small, piquant, charming, canine type body. It's not exactly my idea of a good time. Although I would love to have this dog eat my pee pee. He can't stick his mouth on it until he looks more mod or with a disco cut, perhaps. So, the Wu Man developed an ingenious plan in order to succeed in her desires for extended forms of erotic gratification. And so what she did was she turned to the man, and the man was a chump. He was a chump from the very beginning. She turned to the man and she said, Sucker, go get a job. Whereupon the man, thinking that later that night he would be able to get some uh, activity back there in the garden. He went out and he got himself a job. He went to work for Lockheed. Came back with his paycheck later that night. Gave the Wu Man all of the money. The Wu Man dashed off to the hardware store and picked up some flippers, some scissors, and of course, some zircon encrusted tweezers. And she came back and she went to work on the poodle. Oh, she clipped all over his back right here, clipped him around the medulla, the managua, thorax, trimmed his snout so that these succulent little black poodle lips were showing, and she stuck the poodle over on the side like this. Hope you can see this poodle. She made the poodle sit up against his will. Now this is, let's face it folks, this is somewhat of an unnatural act, but she was into it. She went over and squatted right on the poodle's snout. This is purely for demonstration purposes. And then, I don't know how she managed to do this, but while she was sitting on the poodle's snout, she actually looked deep into its eyes. Look right down there and she said these words. <laughs> <laughs>